Good morning. Welcome back to Hoxie Native Seeds. I am going to be away from the farm today. I am delivering cookies that my little sister made to all the NRCS offices that we work with regularly. And it's not to sell them anything. It's not to convince them to buy seed or, you know, it, I mean, it's illegal for them to tell uh, landowners that or recommend us. But we just want to give them a thank you for helping conservation. I think that they are overworked and a little underpaid. Believe it or not, government workers can be that. We just want to give them a little shout out. Well, thank you. I'll be away from the farm. Dad is going to Iowa City today. He will not be around. So the farm is left to Kent and Peyton. Enjoy. Oh my gosh. No video. Go, no. cows. Come on. Go. We're just chasing cows here, you know, normal hoxy things, trying to get them off our property, onto someone else's, as we do. All right, get out of here. They are very hesitant to cross the road. Go cows! Oh yeah, there they go. Cross the road. <laughs> How do you know your fence doesn't work? <laughs> hey, it doesn't keep things in or out, I guess. <laughs> Operation Cow Patrol was a success. We did it. One of us wasn't recording for the first half. Yeah, Nick, sorry about that. You missed some great B-roll. Actually, uh, <laughs> we threatened. I have a steak in my lunch. Right now, we thought that maybe if we came out with that on a fork. He uh, literally set, set the tone for him. So literally told the cows he would eat them. He did that. He physically did that. And we reasoned that if someone were to do that to us with a human steak, we would definitely run the opposite direction. Oh, I would at least. We didn't have to get the steak though. The old uh, Mighty Mouse golf cart here, she's got more bark than bite, but that was enough for today. Moral of the story, Kent, Kent Boucher, um, employee, cowboy. Of the, employee of the month. I think we should put cowboy on our uh, LinkedIn profile. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? I think mine technically says IT wizard. I <laughs> know, <laughs> oh, that's Fred's. Fred has IT wizard. Yeah, you know what, Nick, when you're editing this, leave it all out. On the Prairie Farm website, prairiefarm.com, where you like tell what our jobs are, Peyton and I demand that you add a comma after our primary role and put cowboy. I want to be cow this. herder, not cowboy, just a, or cow man. Fine. I feel like we should go fix the neighbor's fence for I, I think this is going to become a daily occurrence. So there's the Agco up there. There was a cow track right there. And Carol. Carol was chasing them back and forth through uh, through here with the uh, golf carts. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. They don't make fences like they used to. No, anymore. they don't. Today, we're hitting this stuff right here. Velvet leaf is what we call it. And if you look down, basically where you see the thickest clumps of light green. So think back to your Crayola days. This would be the light green crayon. Yeah, I have all of this velvet leaf to get out of our swamp milkweed here. So we got a lot to go. Yep, all of this. And you got, I gotta be careful too because the swamp milkweed, which is this, right here, or that there, is growing right in the rows with it. And some of the swamp milkweed is more obvious, where some of it, a little bit harder to see. And they, this velvet leaf is packed in there so tightly that it's kind of a slow process of whacking all the velvet leaf. And really, the velvet leaf has hurt our crop this year, I think, because, uh, like this section right here, there was no swamp milkweed that came up in there. All got shaded out by uh, that those huge leaves on that fast-growing velvet leaf. So 
Uh, Got to kind of surgically remove it out of the rows, but that's what I'm doing for now. Okay, so velvet leaf is the main thing I'm looking for in this field, and yes, there's a lot of it. But there's also this weed here. This is a thistle, and as you can see, it's going to be going to seed soon. And so that's a priority right now to get all of those out of the fields before they start dropping seeds and spreading like wildfire. Believe it or not, this is the first one I've come across in this field, and I've already covered all this ground here. So I'm gonna hack that one out right now. All right, so I've been uh, working out there, getting some good progress in, still have a long ways to go. It's actually, the air temp right now is absolutely wonderful. It's like low 70s probably, you know, for July 6th. Can't ask for anything better than that. It was super hot yesterday. The thermometer on my truck when I was leaving said 100 degrees. That's probably because it's sitting in the sun, but it was at least high 90s yesterday. We had this huge storm move in last night, rained a lot of the night, and it is super muggy. And so uh, what can kind of be deceiving on a day like today is how much you're actually losing through sweat. There's nice breeze even, which kind of helps cool me off as well. But I stopped to grab the golf cart because I am thirsty. That's where all my water is. Today's episode of Beautiful Weeds, I give you the hibiscus. Yeah, I looked it up. It's a type of hibiscus that is from southern latitudes, I guess. Tropical latitudes, even. Beautiful little flower there. Hurts my heart to cut them up, but they're not from here, and they definitely aren't swamp milkweed. Folks, I'm learning all these weed species along with you. I found another pretty one. Carolina horse nettle. Native to southeastern United States, but invasive in this region. And once again, it's not swamp milkweed, so another pretty weed bites the dust. Hey, thistles get a lot of negative press for being such a uh, pain in the neck of every backyard gardener. I got another one here. She's looking pretty, especially to the bugs. They must really like her, but uh, she's got to go. She's a weed. See you later, Thistle. All right, everyone. I just spotted this army of little larvae uh, hanging out on this swamp milkweed plant here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's related to that bug that you see right there on that leaf or if they're totally different but uh they are all over this thing i'm gonna look it up see what i find out i move fields over here to our pale purple cone flower right here we got our next subject of removal the old thistle and it's going to seed here as you can see kind of like a dandelion gets caught in the wind and carried and spread throughout our field for the last half an hour it's been kind of spitting rain now it's picking up a little bit more i don't want to get caught out in the middle of a field far from my transportation back really appreciate the temperature today it's just so so much cooler than what you can expect for this time of year in Iowa, July 6th, and you're talking like low 70s, pretty awesome. There's my chariot, she awaits. Ian and I are in here taking shelter from the storm. It rained a little bit, so I'm getting some computer work done for a podcast that Nick and I are going all the way to Omaha for on Monday, right Peyton? Peyton's going to be here all by himself. That means whenever somebody orders something, phone's in. Need seed mixed at the last second. Yep, you need seed. Yeah, I got you covered. Bam, seeds out the door. No one even knows. Money in my pocket. Good to go.